What's the connection? How did you and Tommy Robinson come about? Yeah, we're both from Luton, so we both know each other, and we've always kind of known each other. And I've always understood his patriotism and his desire to have the UK a Christian country and with full of English people. I don't think that's a bad thing. I don't think it's ever bad to be patriotic about the place you're born from. But um, obviously, I completely disagree with him on Islam now. At the time, I kind of, I'm not going to say I agreed with him, but I understood his points. But uh, I really look forward to having a conversation with Tommy. That'll be a really interesting podcast because I think he, he has a lot to learn still, I believe. Let me say this in a very diplomatic way. He talks about, you know, the indoctrination of children and how the country's failing and all these things. And he, he, he's trying to find the opposite force to contest these things. And the opposite force to evil is always going to be good, which is God. And I'd like to think he believes in God, but I guess he's a Christian, which is fine. But if the Christian church has no teeth, if the Christian God isn't feared, how can it be God? How can you have a God you can mock? How can you mock God and nothing happen? How's that God? Is that the God you believe in? It's not the God I believe in. So I think he's going to have to accept that there's a logic fail somewhere in his thinking. If he wants an, a good force to oppose evil and he accepts that that must be God, then the God must be powerful. It can't be a weak God. So how can you say it's not Islam? But we'll see. We'll talk to him about it. It'll be yeah. interesting. It'll be an interesting conversation. And I'm not here to convert anybody either. That's not my intention. But yeah, Tommy's saying a lot of the problems with England is Islam and Maybe for a time, I would maybe thought he had a point when it came to patriotism and that kind of thing, but I, I must disagree with him because it's the Muslims who are protesting against the indoctrination of children. It is the Christians that put him in jail. Muslims didn't put him in jail. Christians put him in jail. Yeah, I look forward to talking to Tommy. I don't want to give away all my talking points now, but uh, it was the white Christian judge that put him in jail. <laughs>